Hello everyone, welcome to this video. I'm gonna show you mostly newer skincare items that I've been using for the past couple of months that I have been really enjoying and impressed by. If you aren't subscribed to the channel already, please go hit that subscribe button. You can also follow over on Instagram. All the products that I show you in the video, I will link in the description box below. Most of those will be affiliate links that I mark to let you know if they are or not. And if I have any discount or coupon codes, I always try to include those also. Let me get out of the way the non-skincare products, since most of the video will be skincare. The first one I'm gonna show you is the Spring Collection from Zoya, which is one of my top favorite nail polish companies. Here's what the Bloom Collection consists of. Half of these are creams, half of them are metallic shiny shades. And if you haven't seen my latest makeup swatch video, please go check it out. I will link it in the upper right hand corner for you to see. I swatch all of Essence's Pure Nude Bl Baked Blush line and these are beautiful. They are so inexpensive. I think they're around four dollars each. You get a huge amount of product, seven grams for that price. The colors are all beautiful. You can have them sheer or you can get a great payoff of color for each of them. And now I've mixed these up. I think the shade that I am wearing pretty lightly in this video is Coral or Cool Coral. But if you want to see all of them swatched, then make sure you go check out that video. Last, before we jump into skincare, Ava NYC. I know I've shouted them out so many times on my channel. They are probably my favorite affordable hair care company and they're now available at Walgreens. So if that's your local drugstore, that's going to be even more convenient for you to pick up. Um, I have tried all three of the products I believe that I have in my hand. I know I've tried both of these. I think I've tried their mask before, but I'm not 100% sure. But these two, this is probably my number one product from the brand's line. This is the Main Magic 10 in 1 Primer. This is the third um, normal sized spray bottle that I have of them. And I have a fourth bottle that is the jumbo size that they at one point had at Costco. I'm not sure if they still do, but this is probably my favorite heat protectant spray and anti-frizz spray. The nozzle is so nice to finally give you a very fine mist that you can distribute all over your hair. And like I said, great for applying to the hair, especially before you blow dry. Um, but even if you just want some anti-frizz, shininess, smoothness, softness, that is a great product that smells fantastic. This is their dry shampoo, the Freshen Up Invisible Dry Shampoo, also a fantastic product. And lastly, their Main Magic Shine Mask. It smells exactly like the spray version and it's super thick and rich to give you that extra, just super nourishing, you know, like a mask. It leaves your hair extra, extra, super soft. First thing I wanna show you in this skincare product that I have been testing. Uh, I want to show you first because I want to put it on in this video. This is new from Clinique. This is the Moisture Surge Lip Hydro Plump Treatment. This is gifted by Clinique and the campaign sort of uh, summary that they give you is uh, refers to lip slugging, which if you know about face slugging, then you know what that is referring to. But it's appropriate because the formulation on this is that thick, just super coating protective layer that you get. The uh, color is clear, so there's no tint to it. And it's not so thick that you can't wear it in the daytime. It's perfectly fine, as you can see, in the daytime too. But especially if you want to use it at night, it really helps to lock in the moisture and you wake up still with a protective barrier on. It doesn't just disappear like some thinner chopsticks out there. So this is a really nice and kind of appropriate addition to the line. I feel like a lot of companies now are bringing out this type of lip product. The very first ingredient is Petrolatum, which is one of the best skin protective barrier ingredients that you can have. I wanna shout out also shea butter and ceramides as ingredients in here, and it is completely fragrance free. Next up, I wanna talk about a brand that is new to me. It's called Pure Effect, and they sent over four different products that really focus on hydration, which is very fitting because today is sort of the seventh day, the very last day after um, a chemical peel, a TCA peel that I did. I've done it before several times. If you want to do your own at home TCA peel, I did a kind of beginner's guide instructional video. I will link in the upper right hand, right hand corner for you to check out. Obviously, you know, it is a risk for you to do your own peel at home so make sure that you consult directions professionals etc and always be safe and exercise your own judgment before you do those things I personally have had very nice results um, but the there are several days of pretty noticeable peeling I even did the back of my hands and 
I don't know if you can see, very tiny kind of micro flaking. It looks really, really dry. And that is part of the effect of the peel uh, for a few days. But it really helps to smooth out the skin, make it look more radiant um, after you know the pigmentation has faded. Great humectant is hyaluronic acid. So the line and the brand has the facial serum. It's the plumping um, hyaluronic acid serum. It is 97% natural. This is the kind of thing that you probably want to add to a different moisturizer. They also have a tea tree um, in the healing line, a tea tree drop or serum. This also has vitamin E in it. I'm not personally the biggest fan of tea tree. I think because I don't personally love the way that it smells, but a lot of people absolutely swear by and really love tea tree as an ingredient. They also have an eye cream. It is very rich and thick and nourishing. It's called the Dark Circles Vitamin C Eye Cream. It does contain ascorbic acid as one of the ingredients, so it does have that vitamin C in here. It comes with the um, little dipper and scooper, and hopefully you can get an idea of how thick that cream is. And the one I've been relying on most for post TCA peel needs is the Instant Hydration Moisture Enriching Cream. Also comes with a scooper product or scooper, what do you call this? A scooper tool. And so you can see with all those little flakies there, once I rub it into the skin, this is has enough thickness to give you that kind of barrier and really nourish the skin but it also has a gel-like enough quality to it that it doesn't feel heavy or greasy or really suffocating on the skin. But hopefully you can see it's a pretty drastic difference between the dry flaky look from before and after. So very nice products. I'm glad I was introduced to this brand and I'm also happy to say they don't add fragrances to the products either. If you wanna try anything from the brand for yourself, either anything I showed you or anything else they have available, the brand is providing a 15% discount on the product I don't believe I have any sort of affiliate link to them. Again, I always note it if I do, but that's just courtesy, something that they are offering any of my viewers who purchase with the code. All right, now that we're getting to warmer months, definitely sunscreens are gonna be more and more. Not that they're not important all year round, but even more so I get excited about trying new sunscreens. This one is from Murad. It is from their Environmental Shield line. It is called the Multivitamin Clear Coat Broad Spectrum. It has an SPF of 50 and a PA++++. And this is really cool. It comes in this gel-like sort of um, almost primer-ish consistency, and it is clear, completely colorless. Will not give you any sort of white cast. The formula is said to be water resistant up to 40 minutes. And in terms of some of the shout out ingredients, first I'll start with the active ingredients for the sunscreen. You are getting that sunscreen protection from avobenzone, homosalate, octosalate, and octocrylene. That kind of primary feeling comes from dimethicone, which is also in the formula. So it can pair well with makeup and also kind of act doubly as a primer. You do also have some forms of vitamin C in this product as well as linoleic acid. At the very end of the ingredients, you do have a few fragrant ingredients. So that's really my only knock on this product. It's otherwise very lightweight, um, colorless, and it comes in cool packaging. I like this new packaging and formulation from them. The other sunscreen product that I have been testing out is from Kiehl's. I don't have a lot of stuff from them, so I'm always excited to be able to get to try out some new things from them. This is the Better Screen UV Serum Sunscreen. The active ingredients for this Again, our avobenzone. This is homosalate, octosalate, and octocrylene. Comes in a pump dispenser. This one definitely is a more watery texture. Excuse this over here. I scratched the back of my, my hand. But this definitely has a um, thinner, more watery texture, I would say. And of course, it's not um, immediately clear like the one from Murad, but it is pretty invisible on the skin and because it's not a mineral based sunscreen it should not have any sort of white cast left on the skin. Extra credit to this formulation because it has no fragrant ingredients added and they also have some peptides in there which is nice. And new-ish from Paula's Choice, their 6% mandelic acid and lactic acid. This is a liquid exfoliant. You have probably heard me talk to death about 
my Holy Grail one, which is Paula's Choices 2% BHA liquid exfoliant, which I've used for probably a decade now and is useful not just for acne on the face, but you can put that in your underarms, on your legs, bikini area after you've shaved to help with redness, uh, try to prevent or calm down any ingrown hairs, etc. Um, this one is unopened because it's a special edition gold packaging and I'm already have one open in the normal packaging, but you've seen this on my channel so many times before. This one is slightly different. It is not um, as focused for acne, although you can use it even if you have acne, but these uh, liquid exfoliant ingredients are more targeted for smoothing out, um, evening the skin tone. And these tend to be, the lactic acid and mandelic acid tend to be more gentle than something like um, a glycolic acid. So if you're someone who is just new to using liquid exfoliant ingredients, um, or if you've tried glycolic acid before and it irritates your skin too much or sometimes people are okay with age or the uh, glycolic acid on their face but it irritates their neck this is a really nice option because these are gentler you can keep this kind of product to the neck and down and then just keep your glycolic acid type products on the face another new brand for me is Dieu. I think that's how you pronounce it, it's French. Um, they have a line, I believe they're available now at Sephora. So there are several things in their skincare line. This is the one thing that I have tried. It is the Deliverance Trinity Serum and it's lovely. It is on the expensive side. So that is sort of the biggest knock that I see against the brand, but it's a opaque airtight pump dispenser. The call out ingredient that they have for this is encapsulated cannabinoid complex. Um, some people, love trying that ingredient on their skin. I don't know that I've particularly seen anything magical about that kind of ingredient when I've used it. I've had a couple of products with that as the kind of main focus of the product. But in addition, this does have niacinamide, which is also great for the skin. There are some peptide complexes in here also, and that can help not only with the look of wrinkles, but also the plumpness of the skin. And then a couple more products I wanna shout out that I find particularly helpful post peel, although they can be used at any time. Dermalogica's Power Bright Dark Spot Peel Peel. This has 12% AHA plus PHA and mandelic acid. We know that those are the uh, exfoliating, uh, the chemical exfoliating ingredients. And this is going to help with hyperpigmentation. So post peel when you have those darker spots, but then also using it for weeks afterwards overall to help with hyperpigmentation, any sunspots that you're getting, etc. And a kind of product I love having on hand is an enzyme mask that really helps, especially post peel when you're getting those flakes, especially if you have large flakes that are coming off that are pretty visible um, to anyone that you're passing by. The enzyme mask can really help to, because you're not supposed to pick at the peels, you're not supposed to peel them off the skin, you're not supposed to scrub at them, that's really important that you don't do those things, but you can use an enzyme mask because those, because those enzymes can help to target the already dead skin cells to help shed those and help remove them without damaging or peeling off the skin cells that are not dead that makes sense. So for example, by Peter Thomas Roth, I believe I picked this up. Did I pick this up during the Sephora, the last Sephora sale? Some, some of the Sephora, Sephora sale, I think is when I picked this up. Um, but this is um, an exfoliating, rolling, lifting, sweeping away of basically de dead skin cells. It has multi-action enzymes and cellulose to help get those flakies off. This one specifically has pineapple and pomegranate enzymes. And these can be kind of fun to use. Usually you try to apply a thin layer, leave it on for about 30 seconds, 45 seconds, and then you gently massage it over the skin. A lot of times you can see um, the pilling of the dead skin cells. It shouldn't be an incredible amount, uh, but you'll see some, a little bit of pilling as you're going along and then you rinse it off. And I really wanna quickly shout out some things that I got from Pixie. Pixie pretty regularly sent sends me PR boxes like this, which I appreciate. Thank you so much. I don't feature um, all of them, but I wanted to show you this one in particular because it caught my eye. This new product that they sent over, which I haven't tested yet, but I am looking forward to and, and I plan to, is the antioxidant tonic. What I found interesting about this is that A, it doesn't have fragrance in it, which is good because really, especially on a toner, that's like the first thing that goes on your skin after you wash it, you 
don't want to be introducing irritating fragrant ingredients. Um, and toners historically have had problems being really astringent, irritating, alcohol-based, okay? So this toner, I don't see any issues like that in the ingredients. But what I found particularly interesting, um, A, is that it has some really nice, you know, extracts, fruit extracts, niacinamide, some other nice ingredients. But this is a toner serum hybrid, and you probably can't catch it on screen, but you can tell by the way that it moves in the bottle it's not quite a gel, but it's not a liquid toner. It's something in between a hybrid. So I am looking forward to using this. I think that would be really cool to have kind of something that's thicker than a toner, but that is not as thick as a serum, if that makes sense. So once I do start using this and I've tested it out, if I have anything interesting to say about it, I will mention it in a future video. So thank you so much for joining me for some catch ups on some new things that I've been trying lately. Leave any sort of comments or questions you have in the comment section below. I hope you've been doing well. Thank you as always for taking the time to watch and I'll see you in the next video.